I studied architecture, but I never decided to study architecture. Um, the truth is, I was very good at drawings. My mother was a painter, and every time I did a drawing, instead of saying, ooh, he'll be a great painter, she said, ooh, he'll be a great architect. You know, she thought, it's a respectable profession. It, it combines artistic creativity with common sense and practicality, and as a profession, I didn't take it seriously. But when I came to London in 73, I just by mistake joined a queue at the Architectural Association for interviews to get a place to study. And didn't have a portfolio or anything. I never thought I'll study architecture. So when he asked me, can we have a look at your portfolio? I said, I don't have one but I have my 6B pencils, do you want me to draw something for you? And then why do you want to be an architect? I don't want to be an architect, my mother wants me to be. And you know, I was just a, a cocky brat, really. And, but somehow they, they were conned and I found myself studying architecture. And then I didn't, then I even tried to work for some architect up the hill here in Hampstead. Um, and it didn't take me too long to find out that I'm not cut to work for other people. So one lunchtime I didn't go back to the office. I went to a scrapyard and I yanked two seats from a Rover car, from a Rover 2000 and made, made furniture, two, two pieces of two chairs out of it, the rover chair. Um, then I read in Blueprint, that was a very new magazine, that, that the, direct, the owner, director of Vitra, Rolf Fellbaum, uh, said that, you know, there was a picture of the rover chair and he said that Ronald is probably one of the most interesting designers to come from London and I didn't even though I'm a designer yet. This rover just sucked me into this world of furniture design. Uh, and when I had a retrospective at the Pompidou Center, when we worked on the display, I wanted to drag it like 10 centimeters from here to here. I was told off, hey, don't touch it without wearing white gloves. So that, for me, that was a cycle completed. It's my chair. I mean, I, I'm the lender and I wasn't allowed to touch it without my gloves. I thought that's good.